In this episode of Copilot, we're going to talk about Flow IQ. Flow IQ is a feature in Copilot that gives customers the ability to find any network traffic that's moving across the Aviatrix Transit. So any traffic that traverses our transit or our spoke or any gateway that, that, is, that currently is managed by Aviatrix will record metadata about all traffic that's traversing that link. So today we're gonna show you uh, Flow IQ and this we're on this flows page. And you can see here, this flows gives us all the traffic that is currently seen by the multi-cloud transit, no matter which cloud it's on. So you can easily spot the top talkers in your environment within a single glance of this graph right here. Now, I will just show you one. You can see here that this guy is, is the largest talker. And by clicking on any of these, you can see where they're actually talking to. This is a single flow, but if we had multiple flows broken down like over here, you can click on that and you can see where the source and destination is based on how much traffic is actually being sent between the source and destination. Now we're looking at the last week. We can also support last month, last day, last hour, or we can support custom time frames. Going to the overview tab in Flow IQ, we get a high level overview of all the traffic that, that we've seen over the last week. Let's move to the last hour to show this over the last hour. And it's broken down by traffic based on source IP, destination IP, destination port, source port, all the uh, TCP protocols, any autonomous systems that the traffic is actually traversing, whether it's leaving or incoming into the, into the cloud, whether the traffic is, is public or private or how it's broken down between the two, all the TCP flags of every packet that's actually traversing uh, our multi-cloud transit. Now, everything here you see is completely interactive. And what I mean by that is that if you see traffic on port 22 and you want to find out who's communicating on TCP port 22 by clicking on of this this slice inside his graph you can see that copilot will create a filter and he'll say destination port is equal to port 22 and now we can see all the source IP and destination IPs that are talking on port 22 we can see that the traffic is private it means it's going between two private instances within our the aviatrix multi-cloud transit all right, I will clear this filter and I will move over to geolocation. Geolocation shows us traffic, uh, where it's coming through, coming from and where it's going to within our, within our cloud fabric. So you can see here, we have traffic here in, in, in where it is in North America and where it is in, um, down here in Europe. Well, this is location of where our network constructs are located that we're currently being that we're currently managing. If we move over to last day, we should expect to see a, a bigger traffic heat map. So you can see we give you a heat map of where majority of the traffic is coming to and where it's actually going to. If we scroll down here, we get some greater detail. These are the source countries of the traffic, right? So let's take a look at South Africa. Let's pick on South Africa today. If we click on South Africa, you can see here that we will filter the traffic by South Africa. You can see that traffic is coming from Cape Town. And you can see these are the destination ports that the traffic is destined to in our, in our multi-cloud fabric, right? And these are the IP addresses that, that the traffic is coming to on these ports. I'll clear this filter. By the way, this geolocation can give security experts a good understanding if they're expecting to see traffic from any of these countries coming into the network. If they're not expecting this, this could be an indication of a security vulnerability somewhere in their network that they may need to take action on. I'll move over to trends. Trends gives us an overview of traffic as it moves over time. So you can see here, um, over the last 24 hours, we've had no traffic over at night. And this, this is expected because our environment does get shut down in the middle of the night as this is a test environment. But you can see when we did power on the environment right around six o'clock this morning, you can see we started to see traffic coming in. And this gives us traffic 
based on destination address, source address, source port, and total bandwidth based on um, based on directions, whether it's forwarded, whether it's ingress, whether it's egress. All right. Now I'll move over to records. Records gives us all the detailed records that we use in Copilot to generate all those beautiful uh, visualizations on all those other pages. So here you can see this, these are the detailed records that, that, that you can look at to get down to the low level packet uh, level. You can see here that we expose, we expose over 80 different fields that you can turn on and off. And we give you the ability to export this, uh, this data table as CSV for your own into your own analytics platform. Or if you wanna look at it and save it for later viewing, you can definitely turn on columns and export this uh, to um, to your own favorite platform. I want to show one other thing because we support over 80 filters. We have the ability to create custom rules here. So if we wanted to look for a particular source address and we wanted to see traffic based on a particular source address, we could easily just type that in. And 1072, 1072 three and hit apply changes and this guy will show us all traffic that's coming from this IP address or if I want to see all traffic that is not to this address I can click on this not and apply these changes and we will show all traffic that's excluding this IP address I will take that off and if you want to look at traffic between two different IP addresses in your environment you can do destination address and you can put the destination address as another IP address that's in our network and hit apply changes. Now we will show you all traffic between these two IP addresses. You can see, well, there's an SSH session between them. And there is, <clears throat> there is ICMP traffic between them, ping traffic. So extremely powerful, be able to look at real time you can look at the last hour if there's any traffic. You can look over the last week. What traffic was over the last week between these two instances? The Flow IQ gives an incredibly powerful feature within Copilot for customers to be able to understand their data, where it's going to, where it's coming from, and be able to filter and, and understand down deep and dirty about their traffic.